brothers and sisters. How you doing today? I hope you're having a fabulous day. Every time I end up my videos and it comes up and I go, hello, I remind myself of Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> and I laugh every time. Anyways, thought I'd let you in on that. But, you know, that's the way I say hello on the videos. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to get to our cards. Uh, we're having a beautiful day today, so that's nice. We also have a beautiful weekend. I'm going to a spiritual retreat, and I am very excited. I'm going to Drumheller, so I'm going to... I'm not leaving until tomorrow morning. I'm going to spend one night there, but I'm going to do the cards tomorrow, hopefully by the hoodoos. That would be cool. The hoodoos out there are very cool. All right, universe, what do you want the collective to know today? As I forgive myself, it becomes easier to forgive others. Here we go, forgiven. When I make a mistake, I realize that it's the only part of the learning process. And I don't really consider it a mistake. Um, I think it's just moving forward right so you're not doing something that you're supposed to be doing something didn't turn out right or anything like that i don't really like to use the word fail or stuff like that and um i just think you're learning to grow that's it don't take too much negativity out of making any kind of mistake or making any kind of uh um i just lost my train of thought wow <laughs> Anyway, you know what I mean. So don't be hard on yourself if the fail is what I meant to say. So don't be hard on yourself if you feel like you failed or you feel like you've done a mistake. Because it's part of us um, expanding who we are and, and growing into the person, the better version of who we are, you know. Alright, Power Thoughts. What do we have for you today? we got a nice breeze going too. i got to get all my laundry done and whatever because... I've been away for a week and uh, got to get my time, you know, got to do me now <laughs> and I'm excited. I now create a wonderful new job. Now, you don't have to take that job as a job. You could take that as in a career or in a uh, ownership of your own business. Um, so you can say, I now create a wonderful new business, right? That's something I would say to myself. So, you know, be mindful sometimes of how you use your words, but you know what the gist of the card is saying to you. I am totally open and receptive to a wonderful new position using my creative talents and abilities working for and with people I love in a wonderful location and earning good money. And like I said, that could be your own business, that could be a job, it could be a career. Whatever you choose to do in your life, right? So put that into the universe that you're going to work with people that you love um, and you're going to feel very good about what you're doing and um, be open and receptive to it all. It's not a lovely card. Okay, the wind is a little bit much. I'm going to blow my cards again everywhere. I'm going to try and be outside as much as I can before the winter comes. I was driving down the road here and I live on one of those older streets where they've been around a long time so we are our trees are big very nice and bloomy and big and i absolutely love it and uh and they've been green all summer and i'm coming down today and i'm looking at beautiful mother nature and watching the leaves change oh, soon they'll fall off but <laughs> that's part of our process right rejuvenation yeah Okay, we're doing the Oracles of the Seven Energies. Let's see what they have to say today. Yeah, it doesn't really feel like fall yet, but it'll come, it'll come upon us. I don't know about you, but time is going fast for me. Smoke and mirrors. Ooh, somebody trying to throw shit at you? I shouldn't use that word too much. <laughs> Trying to cloud your judgment. Mm, I know some of the things going on in the world right now. It's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Depends on how you look at it. Let's see what the book says. And don't allow anybody to just uh, gaslight you. or Don't allow that in your life at all. Seeing through the path. Sorry. Do this again. 
Seeing through the lens of past conditioning, the inability to recognize the truth of what is being offered, healing from misguided perceptions, moving beyond the illusion of separation, being accountable for your bias and the way you view the world. Ooh, it's going there. We actually built to view the world inaccurately. And how true is that? Of all the stuff that we learnt in our education system. Hmm. <laughs> our five senses tell us we are separated from one another. We're conditioned to see time is linear. This creates a consciousness of separation and finality. We have an innate fear that what we see is all there is. I don't think that's happening anymore. I think in the last four years, people have actually been opening up their mind, opening up their heart, and opening up their soul to actually see beyond what's in front of us because there's more to it. Although we know deep down there is more, we are suspicious of it because we were taught to be. No more. Our fear of death results from this kind of perception. The entire world is a construct of smoke and mirrors. Wow, this card is powerful. And our job is to discover the, discover the truth that lies beyond this illusion. And how funny this card is coming out because there is a lot of truth coming out and there's going to be a lot more over um, the next maybe six months. So be prepared for that. And don't let your mind go squirrely over it but it has to be shown, okay? Just leave that with you. Um, discoveries at the frontiers of science align with what the ancients have known. At the atomic level, we are blinking lights and empty space. Consciousness is fundamental. Time can be bent and we are external. Sorry, we are eternal. Ask yourself if what you see is really just what you're looking for. What do you sense beyond your intellectual assessment of what is? Now, I like that because we are very magical and powerful human beings. We just got to believe in ourselves and trust in the universe. It's there for you. Can you drop into your heart and soul and a call for a vision, a feeling, an awareness of true and authentic. Every day, remind yourself that you are connected to all life. The universe needs you to learn about it. You have within your extraordinary magic with which to co-create life beyond your wildest expectations. Absolutely. Oh, I love that. You know, if we take the time to learn about who we are and what we want and uh, where we need to go, oh, our life is magical. Today, trust the inner voice that reminds you that you truly will find what you seek and more, even if outer conditions appear to challenge that. It's all smoke and mirrors. Things are not as that. Things are not exactly as they seem. How true is that? And they are not exactly how as they seem. So, if you trust your own guidance uh, and have the universe come along with you to um, guide you where you need to be, and all this flashing stuff out here, that's distractions. We got to stop with the distractions. Sometimes, when I look at things that are going on, especially in the world today, if this is going on and that's what they're pushing on us, I look at something else because I know they're trying to cover up something. And that's been in our world for a very, very long time. Now you have to be mindful about what you're listening to and who you're listening to. You have to listen to yourself, you have to love on yourself, and be true to who you are and where your spirit needs you to go. Because like I say, life is going to be magical if you do. So, see through the smoke and mirrors. And if you're trying to manifest something uh, to create uh, a business or a job or something like that, put that in the universe. And remember, learning from your mistakes, from your fails, which I don't really like to use those words, but 
those are the words that we are used to hearing. So make sure you understand that it's a stepping stone to go up to be your more authentic self and to be the best version of who you are. Anyways, I'm going to leave that with you. I got some laundry to do. <laughs> And I will uh, talk to you soon. Thank you so much for the likes, shares, and comments. I do appreciate you, and I so appreciate you taking your time and uh, watching me on this video. And we'll leave that with you, and I'm going to send you love and light, and uh, bye for now. Mwah!